Hi, I'm Nathan Maker, and this is part two of my bedroom conversion video. Back in part one, I focus on the general construction of the room, and if you haven't had a chance to go see that, the link will be right here. But I haven't shown you yet how I made the French cleats, the French cleat tool holders, and a second camera rig. Let's get started. French cleats are a simple solution for tool storage. They can easily be made on a table saw by cutting a strip of wood at 45 degrees. You attach one side of the strip to the wall and then the other strip to any shelving or tool storage system that you want to use. The best part about French cleats is you can place the shelves wherever is most convenient for you. As you can see, I already made some French cleats off camera, but the first one I'm going to show you today is for my drill. This one's going to be tricky because I want to leave room for the drill bits, but I haven't figured out the best way to do that yet. But the drill itself is going to be easy. At the local hardware store, I picked up a drill holder, so now all I have to do is drill two holes into the cleat. I accidentally put the cleat on the wrong way, but it'll be an easy fix. At some point, I'll come back and I'll show you guys how I fixed the drill bit issue. Next up was the cleat for my pliers. It was a super easy build with just an aluminum rod attached between two pieces of wood. It's simple design and ease of use make this my favorite French cleat so far. Next up, I had to make a cleat for my carpenter square and my speed square. I did this very simply by drilling two holes and using two pieces of small wooden dowel. Last but not least was a French cleat for all of my files. I accomplished this by drilling appropriately sized holes so that each of the files could fit in their own holder. That's the best part about French cleats. It's open to a ton of different possibilities, and even after you've built them, you could still place them wherever you want in the room. Today I'm gonna make a second camera mount. Right now I just have the one on the wall, and that can get good for large shots, but for getting things on the table, it's just not gonna work out. So what I'm gonna do is take another piece of aluminum extrusion, mount it to a board like this, and I have a second camera gimbal that I'll use this carriage and it will slide up and down. Slide up and down on here and that'll help me just quickly release the camera up there, put it on here. I can get quick shots of the table. I can move this up and down. It's got a little rotation thing on it so I can put it to wherever I want. Um, I just think that's gonna help diversify the different shots that I can get with all these videos. So I found that this has a 3 8 adapter instead of just a quarter. So I can tap a 3 8 hole into here, get a piece of threaded rod, and these will attach super easily together. The next thing I have to figure out 
actually very easy. I'll just put the handbrake right on the other side and it will fit naturally into the extrusion and we should be good to go from there. For those of you unaware, this is a tap and is used to thread holes into pieces of metal or anything you're working with. So with this one, you can use this to create the female end. And if you use a thing called a die, you can go the other way. And this will go over a rod and thread it for you the other direction. And it'll give you the threads on the outside. When you're threading things, you're gonna wanna make sure it's completely level or you're gonna have an offset and your bolts aren't gonna work right. I'm gonna use my level today to make sure that my tap is perpendicular to the carriage surface. I'm gonna add these little dividers so I can hold the wires in place while the camera moves up and down. Aluminum extrusion is easy. All you need to have is a washer or a nut that'll fit inside the channel and then you can attach whatever you want to it. It's the best part about this is you can attach whatever you want to any point. Now you may have seen these blocks around, they're called one, two, three blocks. They're super helpful because they're perfectly square. They have a measurement of one to two to three inches. And so if you put this up against another 90 degree square surface, you can get things to line up perfectly square. So next I have to go cut this piece of wood so I can have a little table mount, screw it all together and we'll be good to go. Now when you're tapping something, you're gonna to wanna to start it and go in a little bit and then come back out to remove the excess material and then go back and then start again. Just cut the piece off the threaded rod, gonna file it up a little bit, clean it up, and I'll put it in the camera mount. So I just put the threaded rod into the camera mount and all you gotta do is screw them together now. All right, so that's the carriage system. Now all I gotta do is figure out how to mount this to the bottom of a piece of wood and be good to go. This room is good enough to make some really cool things and I'm excited to show you what I'm going to make in the future. While I get more comfortable making things in this room, I'm going to find better ways of doing things and organizing it. So stick around for those shop videos as well. If you've had a project in mind that you've been trying to get started and you've just been a little bit scared to do it, you may be afraid that you don't know all the answers right now, but I guarantee you no maker ever does. You have to just start and go for it. You'll learn what you need to do along the way. In every single project, there's gonna be changes, there's gonna be hiccups, but you just gotta keep working through them and you're gonna get done. So thanks for watching, go out, make something, and I'll see you next time.